All right, guys, I have a little surprise for you today. Wait until you see this. Ducati Paul Smart 1000. You have any screws for the back? Uh, yeah. Holy moly. Have you ever one of these before? No. So, where's the clutch? Where's the motor, 1000 motors? They're yeah. very torquey, but they, they don't like to ride under like 3000 RPM. You need to get a, okay. get a higher Yeah, it's, uh, it'll start to lug under 3000. Okay. And that's just, the, that's just the way it is. Yeah, okay. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude. <laughs> this is a little bit more than a V4. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> god. Alright guys. crap guys I am on a Ducati Paul Smart 1000 right now <laughs> there's only 1500 of these in the world this is a 2006 model and I'm gonna take it to get some coffee old tires I'm not gonna do anything honestly I'm scared to death this thing is so minty I am this is crazy Holy torque. I'm shifting through the gears here. And this is one specimen right here. Guys, I don't even know what to say about this thing. I don't know much about it. The owner of Garcia Garrett was just like, I need this thing ridden today. Jack McCausland, if you're out there, I'm going to tag you in here. You wish you were me right now. <laughs> I'm so lean forward. It is ridiculous. <laughs> I hope this thing keeps running. Okay, so my stance, I am literally, my crotch is like inside of the gas tank at this point. But it doesn't matter. I mean, let's just be real. <laughs> so as far as everything on the dash you've got standard speedometer revs to 11 you got turn signal horn down there other than that everything is awesome this thing is so torquey so he told me to ride this thing over 3,000 RPM, it doesn't like anything lower. Only 440 miles on this. It is really smooth. Getting through all the gears, fine. As I am just taking this in, sorry if I'm not very chatty today, but this is unreal. Like I said, this is kind of like the Corsa where there's only 1,500 of these in the world. Now, my seat is heating up a little bit, uh, but that can be expected. Uh, these Ducati uh, Superbikes have, you know, minimum seat, mostly engine ratio. Just being honest, this is probably one of the most uncomfortable motorcycles I've been on because you have to all, you have to put your butt back and be all the way extended to actually be on this seat. <laughs> it's getting through the gears great though. It's running great. 
asking price for one of these right now as you can see this cool badge right here limited edition uh, asking price for these is around twenty six to twenty eight thousand dollars and it's a 2006 but keep in mind it has 400 miles on it and it is a bike that you do not see any <laughs> usually what can I compare this to I mean the clutch is just ridiculously hard to pull in but man I feel like I'm on a I mean I'm virtually on a museum piece right now this bike itself will probably be in a high high class collector's garage in the next 40 50 years if not already you know it's already in our our museum upstairs but this bike is for sale if you guys are interested head on over to garciamoto.com maybe beg beg the owner to, to sell you sell it to you in raleigh north carolina holy moly oh okay gonna straighten my back out now man this bike is a beast like I said, I do have quite a bit of heat coming out. Uh, the frame is turquoise too, which is really cool. I'm taking the Paul Smart Ducati to get some coffee today. <laughs> Who would have thought? Who would have thought that would be the case? Gosh, no one knows what the heck it is that's driving by him. That's all I know. Again, I am not going to ride this bike hard because I'm scared to death of wrecking it and it's not worth it because it has 10 year old tires. Hey, it's easy to get into neutral. Alright guys, be back in a little bit. Alright guys, we are back at it in the Paul Smart. I'm gonna take it on the highway because why not it is comfortable sitting here like upright but I'll show you in a second uh, <laughs> like what I was talking about earlier to be actually on the seat you have to slide your butt like through the back of the bike almost to where you're extended like you're doing like a horizontal pull-up <laughs> oh man I'm gonna go on the highway to hell. I feel like my crack is showing in the back because I'm leaned over so far. It'll be a good, uh, good thing for people to see. I'm not gonna hit it hard here. I might get in a straight line, maybe a little bit, but that's it. position now that you're supposed to be on this bike. I feel like I'm in some sort of like rocket position like I'm about to go into 